Hello, welcome to behind the scenes for 360 uh, camera test videos. There's a collaboration with ASMR requests, Heather Feather, as a part of Pixel Whipped. So I hope you guys will enjoy the actual video that will come out on, um, uh, on Gentle Whisperings page. Uh, it is a test video, so please, please, please bear with us. We really appreciate your patience and your consideration when watching these videos. So for this video, um, I had to do a lot of testing. Um, I had to do a lot of testing for a testing video. <laughs> um, I did a bunch of testing um, stuff, uh, such as this ridiculous thing that I'm going to throw away. I was trying to do one of those mobiles <laughs> for adults, but it, it, it definitely they did not work out at all. Um, I'm going to plug in some of the footage of me testing here. I probably will speed it up because there's a bunch. Okay, so I just found out while searching for the sounds that the grapes, the fake grapes, sound amazing. I don't think you can actually hear it much. So now I also found these flowers. They sound really cool. I kind of really like this pink one. It already has a little string attached to it. So I can literally just suspend it like this. Look what we did, you guys. <laughs> we're supposed to relax. ASMR. <laughs> How cute is this? I'm, going, I'm about to start the testing. So far I'm just testing the props. And I have made all these different little things that I'm going to be using. See how do we go? Let's start testing. I'm excited. Uh, the testing took me almost a month at least probably as uh, since the end of uh, December we were testing <laughs> for the testing <laughs> video so there's a lot of work in, in this even though it will probably not come off as if there were uh, so uh, for the video I have my chamomile tea here to soothe my throat I already had some honey to warm up my um, voice muscles I've um, read my <laughs> my mantras that I do before the videos to kind of center myself and meditate a little bit. So I'm more relaxed during the video as well. Uh, I had to um, remove all of my other equipment uh, from the inside, most of it at least, um, because uh, I needed to to make a smaller space, and because the 360 camera is a is, is recording everything around that means that it will record everything around so <laughs> you cannot have any kind of mass around so um let's see as always i have a back, uh, black background it's just a background then i have um some fabric attached on the floor to the walls as well as this front wall um to create again a, a, a all together put together uh, kind of shot so it's a very small space to crawl through you see like um, just just about over a foot maybe a foot so let's 
slide in. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> We're sliding in. Okay. I barely can walk here. Uh, so I used some curtains um, on the sides just to kind of cover up some some of the spots that are still visible from the point of view of the camera I didn't do a great job but uh, I wasn't just I wasn't able to invest anymore into this setup um, so I kind of had to go with what I have as far as makeup you can tell that I went with a very very neutral very easygoing makeup um, I've been really riding the wave of kind of no makeup makeup lately just really trying to um, look more youthful by using less makeup <laughs> if that makes sense and I, I kind of like it so I'll, I'll stick with it for a little bit uh, so today I just had some a little bit of a shimmering eyeshadow uh, a tiny bit of mascara and a little bit of lip color to kind of freshen the look a little bit so here I have um, some props in the corners in this corner <laughs> I have a steamer in that corner and then I have the blanket with the paper circle in the other corner. And now to the actual camera setup. So this is what it kind of looks like from here. I do have sparkles on the floor. That's what you see. It's all the different sparkles um, that came from different fabrics that I was testing. And of course it just stuck to the black fabric and I can't really take them off. So I have the camera set up right here. And it has a dual lens on each side then um, I have a stand that I've covered up in the what is it called it's clock cape yeah um, I think it's called cape that I've used in um, in the other 360 degree video in last May if you follow me you might remember it so I had to wrap around the cloak like so around the stand I got um, a circle cardboard a piece and I've put it through the camera stand inside of it, so to say, as you can tell. So that cloak kind of hangs on it. And I did that so I can put my microphones right under it and so that nothing is really touching them. So I can still use the ear-to-ear -ear effect for my videos. I actually need to change, move this mic a little bit. Oh well, I'll do it later. And then I have both stands there and um, I have the, my uh, recorder on the bottom there. <laughs> okay. Let me just fix it up a little bit. Because <laughs> I was really struggling on working with this. I know that all three of us, Ailey, Heather and me, have um, are their own style applied to this video and I'm super excited about it. Um, I hope that everybody remembers that it's a testing. Possibilities are enormous with this. If we start off and if we test it out, there are more and more great new experiences for you guys to watch in a relaxing atmosphere. That's all we really want to accomplish eventually. Right now, um, you have to give us the benefit of a doubt we're not professionals. We're just people playing with new equipment that it's not something that anybody can know how to do properly. <laughs> so we hope to work on it more and we, we need your suggestions with it. Of course, it's going to be just a new part of ASMR. It's not going to be the ASMR definition. Um, it's just something that we can bring in to create movement, to create excitement, to create new experiences. Um, for our viewers and kind of shift things into new way too so i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and um thank you for watching i really appreciate it okay. <laughs> bye